Welcome to the Dementia Caregivers podcast series. In this podcast, Susan Howland with the California Southland chapter of the Alzheimer's Association will cover how you as a caregiver can better understand sundowning, a behavior related to people living with dementia. First, what is sundowning? Many people who have dementia experiencing sundowning, and it's when the sun begins to set individuals might become restless, agitated, might have more of these behavioral symptoms, might want to leave the house, might want to become combative. And it's really a challenge for family members, caregivers, to actually kind of manage the individual in those situations. What are some of the behaviors associated with sundowning? The behaviors caregivers frequently see with an individual sundowning would be agitation, anxiety, restlessness, pacing, maybe refusal to help participate in a task or activity, maybe want to leave the house by themselves or engage in other behaviors that might not be safe. What are the causes of sundowning? Some people might say it's because the sun is setting, there are increased shadows in the home, it's getting darker. There might be increased activity in the home, people coming, people going, preparations for dinner. Also, this is an individual who might be exhausted at this point. How can a caregiver reduce the risk for sundowning? I think if you're looking to reduce the likelihood of someone experiencing sundowning, you can try a variety of techniques. It might be making sure an individual has enough physical activity during the day, that a person has engaged in cognitive stimulation throughout the day as well. Maybe a half an hour before you start noticing symptoms usually start. Maybe work on a jigsaw puzzle, flip through a photo album, go for a walk in the neighborhood. Do people living with dementia also have sleep issues? We know that individuals who do engage again in physical activity during the day might sleep better. People who engage in meaningful activities that fit their abilities, um, setting a routine, so always up at seven in the morning, going to bed at nine, maybe having a nice nighttime routine to try to wind down as well, and limiting caffeine or caffeinated products after three in the afternoon might all help. What are strategies that can help caregivers cope with sundowning in the moment the behavior is occurring? So caregivers who are experiencing sundowning in the moment have a couple of options they can try. They can try redirecting the individual to an enjoyable activity, maybe taking the individual to a quiet room for some relaxing, you know, soothing music to try to help calm the individual down. Ultimately, the goal is to try to learn from that situation and apply it to the next day. We hope this podcast will help you to better understand sundowning. If you have an idea for a podcast topic, please email it to us at nursinghomes at hsag.com. Thank you and stay tuned for upcoming podcasts in our Dementia Caregivers podcast series.